I want to thank you so much for uh, taking the time out of your busy schedule to hop on the podcast today. To all the people that are listening on Spotify, Audible, Apple Podcasts, or watching on YouTube, uh, my special guest is Ken Clatteris, an esteemed wealth advisor, course creator, published author, who's going to help you live your best life. Ken, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Awesome, man. I'm doing really, really well. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that we can talk about today. You're a man of uh, many hats, but I wanted to just talk about stepping into the greatest version of yourself, right? I know you uh, authored two books here, and uh, you're also a Chopra certified meditation instructor, and those are just really cool things. So I guess we can start off by just telling us a little bit about yourself and some of the things that you are really passionate about. Yeah. So I know it sounds kind of weird, right? Wealth advisor for over a decade to a Chopra certified meditation instructor. Um, and that was kind of my journey of stepping into my best self, right? And um, becoming that person that I wanted to be. Because I feel like so many people get stuck in like what society says you should do, what you should be. And right, if you really stay on that path, you know, I got to a point where I felt like life was kind of the same every day. And it was like, oh, is this really all that there is? They're like, there has to be more, right? And in that process of, you know, stepping in and being like, okay, how do I live in a place that's bigger than this, that's better than this, you know, led me onto the personal development journey. Amazing. What, uh, what's your favorite part about personal development? Um, just watching the transformation from people that feel stuck all right, or like don't have an idea of where they want to go or how they're going to move forward to having just extreme clarity and then going out and, and making their, you know, dreams or wishes like real. Right. So obviously the, the personal development, the self growth journey, it never stops. We're going to be working on ourselves until the day we're six feet underground. Tell a little, tell us a little bit more about some of the personal growth and self development uh, tactics and strategies you're currently being the most intentional about. I'm really curious. Yeah. So I've spent, you know, the last five years kind of curating my own practice, if you will. And that's kind of what I teach as well. Um, but I mean, every day starts with just 20 minutes of meditation, just make sure I get that mental clarity and just set myself up for the day. And then spending a lot of time journaling and setting intention for the day and actually visualizing what it is that I want to occur. So that like, I almost, you know, know what I'm out. My subconscious knows what I'm looking for as I go out and into the day. Amazing. So those are my big things. Yeah. What, uh, what type of meditation do you do? Uh, the Chopra certification meditation. Which oh, is called got it. Okay, yeah. cool. Now, is that just one meditation in the morning? Or is it two meditations throughout the day? Well, if I'm going to be honest with you, you're supposed to do it twice a day. But sometimes like now, sometimes I skip the afternoon meditation. Yeah. Um, but when I first started, I was diligent about twice a day, 20 minutes each, right, you know, really creating that mental clarity that I was looking for. Um, and now I feel like I live in a space that's pretty clear all the time. Um, but I still do that morning meditation. Yep. I, uh, I've been meditating since 2017. So it's been about five years of daily meditation. Back in 2019, I started doing transcendental meditation, which I'm sure you've yep. heard of, right? Ray Dalio, Se uh, Jerry Seinfeld, all the, all the greats take part in uh, transcendental meditation. And like you said, you know, I don't always stay loyal on that second meditation, Right. But when I do, I come out of it so peaceful. And, and I, you know, as a certified life coach and, and nutritionist, I try to talk about the benefits of meditation on your mental health, on your physical health, on your physiology and your biology, law of attraction. When we really get down into the spirituality aspect of life and connecting to the universe and creating all your goals and dreams, uh, make, making them come to fruition, meditation is really that base layer of, uh, that, that foundation that you can build off. So tell us a little bit about how meditation has changed your life and made a positive yeah. impact. Well, I just want to add that, you know, it's funny you add that because people ask me all the time, like, why is stillness to success them in my course? And I'm like, oh, because that stillness, that meditation is the foundation for like the life you want to live and really getting to those answers. Um, and so that's exactly what I teach. So I 100% agree with what you just said. Um, and for me, meditation was kind of that thing that like made the shift from all the noise in my head of things like, you know, having some OCD and really trying to control every aspect of my life and feeling stuck to tapping into something outside of myself, something bigger that allowed me to go out there and really start to create the things I wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's so ironic. I just had somewhat of a an aha epiphany moment is like, you know, these conversations, if you don't meditate, if you don't believe in spirituality, law of attraction, the universe, manifestation, all things like that, you would think that this is the most cliche, cheesiest conversation ever, right? But when you yep. start to actually practice and apply these principles to your life and you see the results, you realize that it's really important to double down and have conversations like this as much as possible. You know, having uh, leaders and, and professionals and experts like yourself on, my, on this podcast is really not just to promote my brand and continue to put out uh, quality, consistent content, but it's also for me because I love learning from people like you and uh, in your course, Stillness to Success, you're going to help people learn the tools and strategies they need to shift their focus into overdrive so they can realize their true calling. So what's the first step and what are some of the things that people are going to learn in your course, Stillness to Success? Yeah. Well, the first step, and like we mentioned, right, is stillness. So we teach everybody how to do primordial sound meditation, which is the Chopra meditation. And then from there, once they develop that clarity, then it's starting to ask those questions like, you know, what are your core values? What are your, you know, themes in life that make you happiness and bring you more fulfillment? Do you have a vision statement for your life? Right? A lot of it comes back to my you know business background i'm like okay if you want to have a successful business right you need a mission statement a vision statement create a culture uh for your employees make sure there's clear action steps so we took that same methodology and just put it into a person and said okay if you yourself are a business this is your life like you need to be able to articulate what it is you want what brings you satisfaction what success means to you you know i feel like that's the hardest thing a lot of people don't know what they want and until you develop that stillness and can actually hear like that small voice in your head telling you like, this is what I want, this is what I need, it's all just noise. And so that's the foundation again, is just creating that mental clarity so that you can go out there and then start to attract the things you want. That's it. That's it. Clarity, getting super clear on your values and then aligning yep. your thoughts and actions around that value. I actually just finished writing my first book that's going to be coming out here in a couple months. And I talk so much about awareness and clarity and, you know, figuring out what you want and then doing what you want to do. Because for the last five, six years, I, I've been selling real estate and building my life coaching business and investing in stocks and investing in real estate. It's like money, 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 money. How do I make $20,000 a month working, you know, 10 hours a week and then I'll be happy. Then I realized, no, it's not money I'm after. It's freedom. It's being able to yep. do whatever I want whenever I want. And uh, it's funny when I pivoted into, into the life coaching space and the health and wellness space, doing one-on-one -on -one life coaching and selling other products and services around personal growth and self-development, even though I'm not making 20000 a month, I have freedom. So now I'm like, hey, it's not the 20000 a month I was after. It's the lifestyle I'm living today, which is waking up early, meditating, writing, exercising, doing yoga, going to the gym all day, having conversations with people at the gym, right? I don't want to work 70, 80 hours a week, even if it means I'm making $40,000 a month. So let me ask you a question here. What are, what do you want from life? You know, you're a high achiever, you know, you're really trying to step into the greatest version of yourself, but what do you want? What do you want? Well, that's a, that's a very deep question. Um, but I feel like the course is to make an impact. Right. And really how people create, again, the best version of themselves, because I know where I used to like live and like that OCD stressed out all the time. Right. You're still making money. You're like, OK, this is good. This is what people told me I should do. Um, but you're not getting any fulfillment. And I feel like it's a lot easier to make that transition to living a fulfilled life if you kind of have some guidance. And this is actually what I enjoy doing the most. Right. I'm passionate about helping people and like creating that change and watching them step into them, their best version of themselves. And, you know, everybody thinks it's, it's really difficult or it's, oh my God, it's so hard. It's overwhelming, right? Cause they're overthinking it. But the moment you just drop it all, right. S s allow yourself to meditate, slip into that gap, tap into that potential. That's when you really, you know, realize that you can create anything you want in life. And so that's a long answer. Yeah. Um, no, but I guess answer. it's the same thing you're saying is like, right. I already have the freedom. I get to live an amazing lifestyle. Like I enjoy my life every day and just adding the ability to help other people really brings me fulfillment. Right. 
it's the impact. It's the positive change that you're making on the yeah. on the world that brings you that sense of fulfillment and accomplishment. Tony Robbins said it best. You know, it's not about how much money. It's about feeling fulfilled, feeling accomplished. And there's a ton of ways to do that that don't all require a lot of money. And there's so many people that chase money, chase money, chase money, and and that doesn't give them a sense of fulfillment. So. Yeah. But I would add that since I started this, I do make more money than I was before. So there is that success aspect of right, still living that lifestyle and like not relinquishing all material, you know, goods. Like I still nice do nice things. I want nice things, um, but it doesn't come from a place of like I need it. It's more like oh, I'd like to experience this and have this, and then I can move on. But it's not giving me any like worth, if that makes sense. Right. What are some of the experiences yeah. that you're after in life? Um, well, so I just got back, just got back from Amangiri. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a hotel in the Southeast corner of Utah. And, you know, that was an incredible experience. I do a lot of meditation retreats and things like that, just to tap into the stillness. Um, so the last three years I've done a week in silence every year. And to me, that is something I would like never give up. So having the ability to step away from my business and everything and just spend that week in silence is incredible. Um, I spent a lot of time on boats and decided the other day that I want to do around the world like trip. So that is the next thing on the bucket list. Amazing. Where do you do your week of silence? Uh, so it kind of moves around at different hotels. It's not like a retreat center. Um, but this year I will be going in Yosemite. Amazing. When are you going there? Uh, August. Amazing. Oh, yeah. It, now, is that through? Is that through an organization? Is it through anything, or you just kind of do it on your own? Uh, so this one specifically is through the Chopra Center. Oh, okay. Um, but I do intend to start hosting my own and really helping my students tap into the potential that is prolonged silence. Amazing. When you yeah. start your own, I want to be the first person to sign up. Oh, well, thank you. I'll, I'll definitely reach yeah, out. Absolutely. Have you done one before? Uh, I've never done like a week of silence. I was signed up for a Vipassana meditation retreat, which I'm sure you've heard of. Um, but yep. it was like in April of 2020, which was obviously a very oh. tough month for everybody. So I ended yep. up canceling that one. Um, so I've done a couple like 24, 48 hours of silence, which isn't like big, but it's small steps. And, and it's about consistency right? It's about yeah. consistency. So, you know, I do my best to consciously drop into a meditative and mindful state at least like once every 30 minutes or an hour, a lot of cues and triggers around either getting in my car or washing my hands or feeling the wind blow against my skin remind me to take a step back for a second, right? Take a breath, right. you know, look at the magic yeah. that's in the sky. And actually, um, you know, I, publish a lot of mindfulness exercises on my app. So all the people that are listening right now, if you haven't purchased or checked out my app, you can go to lifecoachzack.app um, and check out those mindfulness exercises. But to all the people that that feel stuck in the same pattern, that aren't actually enjoying or living their life, you're not sure your desired path, you don't earn the money that gives you the freedom, um, and you're looking for some more passion and purpose in your life, uh, stillness to success is is the course for you so is there anything else that you want to mention when it comes to the course that we might have left out i'm sure there's a ton of information i know there's no way we can cover it in a 15 to 20 minute podcast um but a lot of this is very surface level so what are some of the things that you dive more deeply into in your course stillness to success yeah yeah kind of like i mentioned earlier right we really dive into your core values vision statement and then you know, creating an action plan for you to start building some momentum. Because if you don't know what to do, you probably won't start. But if you know exactly the steps, hopefully you'll continue to move forward. Um, and then we have coaching and uh, group coaching and one on one coaching to really help people, you know, implement and give them the support that they need. So whatever somebody needs to get to the next level, we have it, we have it available for Absolutely. them. Absolutely. And is the one on one coaching is that with you specifically? Or do you have uh, people under you that that coach? Uh, both. So there's another coach and then I'm a coach as well. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Now what, what do you like so much about being a coach? Again, just kind of sharing the things that took me, you know, five years to learn and I can deliver to somebody in like 90 days. Right. And be like, here's the change that took me again, five years and cost me a hundred grand. Right. And here you go. 
right. then they can go off and run with it and make an impact in their families, their communities. And if there's enough of us, eventually we'll change the world. That's it. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, to all the people that are listening on Apple, Spotify, Audible, watching on YouTube, you can head over to Ken Clatteris. Am I pronounced that right? Clatteris? It's Cladoris, but it's it's cool. Cladoris. I apologize. <laughs> KenCladoris.com. That's K-E-N-K-L-A-D-O-U-R-I-S.com. You could also uh, check out Ken on Instagram at Ken. Cladoris, K-E-N-K-L-A-D-O-U-R-I-S. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm going to drop the link below to Ken's course and all of his socials. Ken, thank you so much for your time. Is there anything you want to leave the audience with today? No, I really appreciate the conversation. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to have you at my, my silent retreat. Looking forward to it, my man. Enjoy the rest of your day. Continue stepping in the greatest version of yourself. And we will connect again soon. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for being a loyal listener of the podcast. If you haven't already gotten my first book, Live Better Now, it's officially out on Amazon.com. I want to give a huge thank you to everyone that's already purchased the book, reviewed the book, or shared it with friends and family. It really, really means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much. Go ahead and visit Amazon.com and purchase Live Better Now.